So we finally have the early spoilers for chapter 8 of Boruto Tubu Vortex. And for the most part it shows Hidari invading the village with Jura, but it doesn't show the other Shinjus for some reason. Now that doesn't mean that they're not in the village, but they're obviously not the focus of the chapter. But the conversation between Hidari and Jura is pretty comedic for the most part, but you guys can tell me what you feel about it after we go through it. Now the pages have been colored and translated, so hats off to those guys on Twitter. So we have Jura saying, look, Hidari, it's an old bookstore. Jura then says, this is fantastic. For an unexpected encounter, it looks promising. Then the Sasuke Shinju says, are you here, Uzumaki Naruto? And Jura Shinju replies saying, interesting. I like the way he said it with a straight face. So this seems to be more of a comedic conversation rather than Jura actually being serious here. And while we knew from the prior chapter that Jura was interested in reading books, this seems to be an obsession with gaining knowledge. And it kind of goes back to Jigen because we have multiple panels of Jigen just reading books in the past. So this does substantiate the theory of this being a copy of Jigen. Then again, what I think people seem to forget is that Jigen is Ishiki. So the Jigen we saw in the past reading books, the one that spoke, the one that had the mannerisms, that is literally Ishiki controlling him. So when you see Jura exhibiting traits of Jigen, those are just traits of Ishiki himself. Now I did find this interaction very interesting because the Hidari Shinju doesn't seem to be interested in Naruto whatsoever. Now this really stems from what was revealed in chapter 5 which is that they share an even deeper connection with the person they copied. In that these new Shinju entities seem to possess an innate goal or instinct to consume that person. Jura believes that this is a side effect of them evolving differently thus changing their instinctual drive and also that they should give in to it which should in time reveal their targets. This led to the female Shinju named Matsuri revealing that she has the urge to consume Konohamaru, who is the childhood friend of Moegi, the person she copied. The bug Shinju also revealed that his desire is to consume Ada, the person who bug loved the most due to her charm ability. Similarly, the Sasuke Shinju revealed that his desire is to consume Sarada Uchiha, the daughter of the person he cloned. So what they all have in common is that they want to consume the person the cloned individual cared for the most. This then leads us to Jura who mysteriously didn't have his counterpart revealed as yet and that was done for a reason. You see how I came to the conclusion that he was a clone of Kawaki and Ishiki which I discussed in a prior video was by using the same logic employed by the other entities. The only difference is that we're somewhat working backwards because in chapter 5 it was revealed that his instinctual desire is to consume Naruto Uzumaki which simply means that the person he copied had to have had a deeper connection with Naruto as it was for the other Shinjus. Now of course you could say a lot of people love Naruto so it doesn't really mean anything. He could just be Naruto's number one fan for all we know, which is true to some degree but that's when you'd employ other attributes such as physical appearance which would then narrow it down to Kawaki and Jigen. This is due to the fact that Jura's body composition and his hairstyle seems to resemble theirs, similar to how the other Shinjus resemble their counterparts. Now some would mention Jonin616 who got bitten by one of the Clawgrams mainly due to the fact that he has a hairstyle similar to Jura. But the issue with that is that while he does have a similar hairstyle, his body composition is totally different. Along with the fact that he doesn't have the ability to fly. You see what some people missed in chapter 4 is that every Shinju displayed an ability the person they copied possessed. For example Hidari using Chidori and Matsuri using Earth Release. Now the bug Shinju didn't display any unique abilities per se since bug didn't have any. He simply used the same body modification technique the Tentails has shown in the past which makes perfect sense. Now when it comes to Jura the only ability he displayed was the ability to fly which wasn't employed by the other Shinju. Now of course you could simply say that maybe they can fly but just decided not to. But when you take into context the purpose of showing each of their unique abilities narratively speaking was the hint towards who got cloned. It then makes more sense that this is just the ability he gained from the person he copied. This then narrows the field down to Kawaki since he's the only person who looks similar to Jura whilst also possessing the ability to fly as seen in chapter 1. Now this then leads us to the how. How were they able to clone Kawaki when he wasn't turned into a tree? Well this all goes back to why they turned into a tree and how the Shinju were formed. You see we're going under the assumption that you have to be turned into a tree in order to become a Shinju or to be copied when that was never explicitly said. What we do know is that the chakra the Clawgrams consumed by devouring humans was then used to create the Shinju. This was of course hypothesized by Ada after listening to their conversation. So what this implies is that the act of turning into a tree isn't what's necessary. What's needed is the consumption of chakra. In fact it's also implied in the conversation with Sarda and Jonin 617 that the Clawgrams turning into a tree is actually a defect 
effect of them consuming chakra of non-Otsutsukis. So this simply means that if a Clograim consumed the chakra of an Otsutsuki, it wouldn't turn into a failed divine tree. And it also wouldn't turn into a real divine tree since they would need to consume the Otsutsuki themselves for that to happen. This then brings us back to chapter 2 when Kawaki was attacked and held down by one of the Clograims, which is likely when it absorbed some of his chakra used in the Renegon. This was then sent back to the Tentels, which aided in the creation of Jura. Now Borta did hypothesize that they evolved due to Ishiki's chakra within Code's Clarmark, which could be true. Now this doesn't discount the Kawaki theory whatsoever since we know that they consumed chakra from other individuals as well, which aided in its evolution. Though it does affect who was specifically responsible for the creation of Jura, and Kawaki makes the most sense due to his love for Naruto. Now it could be wrong, which will be fine, but we'll see. I do find it interesting that the Sasuke Shinju seems to have no interest in Naruto, especially since he was Sasuke's closest connection. But I guess you could say Sarada and maybe Sakura. I'm still not sure if Sasuke cares for Sakura more than Naruto to be honest, but we'll see. Either way, for him to not have any interest in Naruto whatsoever is quite interesting. With that said, the full spoilers will be out on the 16th, so that's in two days, so I guess I'll see you guys then. Remember to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.